Hello again, it's time for another book review. This time around, we're doing Shards by Kit Campbell. This is a paranormal romance slash urban fantasy book, and I already begin this video off by saying, buy it. It is definitely worth the read. This was a great little standalone book. Well, not so little, actually. Uh, this one is, let's see here, not counting the last little fiddly bits, 353 pages. So it's a nice little solid read, but this is a standalone novel by Kit Campbell, who has done a few other works, but this one is about Ava Martinez, who is mastering in religious studies, but isn't exactly the best at it, or isn't completely 100% sure that that's what she wants to do. And then you have her bosses, she works at a little local bookstore who kind of complicate matters. And then you have a very interesting person who she keeps bumping into called Michael. And her friends, as they were, Sam and Lily, they tend to cause all sorts of drama and shenanigans throughout the story. I don't really want to tell too much because it is very interesting to see the interplay between, let's see, you got Ava, you have Sam and Lilith, you have Michael, you have Gabe, and then you have Rafe. So there's really six primary characters. I mean, Ava's mother kind of plays into it a little bit down the road, and then you have uh, Thor. Thor magically shows up about two-thirds of the way through the plot. So he's more of a tertiary character throughout this whole thing. And yeah, now you're probably starting to think, well, why is someone named Thor in this book? Well, there's going to be a lot of religious overtones throughout this book and a lot of religious undertones because this really goes through a lot of theological grounds as to just who is Ava, who is Michael and Gabe, or Gabriel, or Ra and then there's Rafe, or Raphael, Sam, or Samael, there's Lily, or Lilith, I believe it was. Yeah, if you know your religious studies well enough, you might start making connections as to who they may potentially be, especially when you have Thor in the mix who is hilarious and most entertaining. All right, let's get to the actual back cover blurb so you can get a better idea of just what the full plot is. The back cover says, Ava Martinez isn't sure why she's pursuing a master's degree in religious studies, except that something about the material resonates in the depths of her soul. But when her dreams start to be invaded by lost gardens, forbidden fruit, and a strangely familiar mystery man. Even she has to wonder if she's taking her schoolwork too seriously. Then, Ava starts to notice the strangeness seeping into everyday life. The man from her dreams is real, and Ava feels a curious connection with him. Her classmate, someone she's known for years, starts to act increasingly volatile. And it seems like everyone, including her bosses, is keeping secrets secrets that have something to do with her. Ava's determined to find out what's going on, how it involves her, and why she's transforming into someone buried deep in her memories. The deeper in that Ava gets, the more she feels like she should understand what's happening around her. The secrets conceal real dangers, and if she can't untangle them and find the truth in time, she, and all those she came to, she's come to care for, will face defeat at the hands of an ancient enemy, one who recognized Ava long before she learned to recognize herself. So how's that for a storyline? And unfortunately, there's no inside little preview blurb in this one, so I'm just going to do the first five paragraphs of the story, so you can kind of get a little sneak preview as to what you would be getting when you purchase this book. And it also gives you an idea as to the uh, writing style and kind of how the characters, well, 
how Ava is portrayed, since it focuses on her at the very beginning. Waking up to the phone ringing was probably a bad start to the day. Ava groaned and rolled over while the phone continued its ungodly noise, earning a protesting meow from her large white cat, Azrael, who had made himself comfortable across her back in an attempt to claim the rest of the bed as his own. The wisps of her dream, one that seemed to repeat constantly these days, were slow to drift away. She had an old phone, left over from the days when phones still had cords, hanging on the wall. It had come with the apartment, and since she couldn't justify a cell phone on her pay, she thought it was probably a good idea to have some way for people to reach her. The issue was that no one ever used it except for charities, telemarketers, and, unfortunately, her mother. She pushed out of bed and moved into the dining room, staring at it, debating whether or not to answer it. It wasn't that she didn't love her mother, she did, but she was the only family Ava had since her father had disappeared before Ava had been born and her grandparents had died in a car accident before she'd started school. If she didn't answer, her mother would probably think something had happened to her. With a sigh, Ava crossed the room and answered, hello. And that's all you get. You're going to have to purchase the book to find out more. And as you, if you want to dig a little deeper into the story, it is available via Turtle Duck Press. So if you go to turtleduckpress.com, uh, under their book section, you can find shards in its various formats. It's Kindle, print edition, smash words, so multiple digital options over there. And there's also some free chapters up. Let's pop that open. So if you want a sneak peek, there's a little bit over at the website for you to dig into, a little more than I've read already. So if that wasn't enough to really pull you in, then there's plenty more to find. And of course it's over on Goodreads if you want to see the review. It's already gotten 4 out of 5 rating, so it's definitely worth a check. and. It, if you want to check out the author more in general, it is kitcampbellbooks.com. And over there you can find all of her books and short stories. Uh, she tends to put out a lot of little extras, so some sneak peeks as to other works. A little bit more about just what everything is about. And she is also the purveyor of land squid. She is the master of all things squiddy. So definitely an author worth keeping an eye on for future books once you finish this one. So you can all you can purchase it straight from her website. There are links from the book. If we go back, let's see, scrolling down. I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, if you you can purchase it via her website, via Goodreads, Amazon, Smashwords, Barnes and Nobles. Same from the Turtle Duck Press website, you can get it from there. So, unfortunately it is not currently in most major bookstores, so online is your best way of tracking down a copy. And if you go to her website, she is also offering a signed copy option. If you want a signed copy of your very own, and you can have it made out. Now, I happen to get one such one, and you even get a little image, or at least I did, because land squid are entertaining. So, wrapping that up, all I can say is definitely check out this book, and keep an eye on the author and anything else from Turtle Duck Press, actually. They're a nice little independent publishing organization with several writers who are publishing a lot of stuff lately. They seem to be averaging at least four books a year, so go check them out. And if you have read Shards already, what was your opinion on it? What did you think? Post in the comments. I'm curious to see what other people's opinions are on this one, because I definitely enjoyed it.
it is definitely worth the read. This was a great little standalone book. Well, not so little actually. Uh, this one is, let's see here, not counting the last little fiddly bits, 353 pages. So it's a nice little solid read, but this is a standalone novel by Kit Campbell, who has done a few other works, but this one is about Ava Martinez, who is mastering in religious studies, but isn't exactly the best. Hello again, it's time for another book review. This time round, we're doing Shards by Kit Campbell. This is a paranormal romance slash urban fantasy book, and I already begin this video off by saying, buy it. Best at it, or isn't completely 100% sure that that's what she wants to do. And then you have her bosses. She works at a little local bookstore who kind of complicate matters. 